Hey play cousin, welcome back. Want to forget you, but I can't. been asking me on Facebook and you guys have been asking me tremendously on Instagram like what do I use what hair products do I use some of y'all even asked me on snapchat what products do I use and what I did to get my hair to grow because if you guys are returning subscribers then you guys may have seen this previous video I mean my video from a year ago when I did my big chop <laughs> So, you guys are wondering how I got my hair to grow back to that same exact length um, a year and two months later. First and foremost, I normally don't like water and things like that, but I've been able to put my differences aside with not liking the, you know, the fact that water doesn't have any taste, so I drink a lots and lots and lots of water. Also, you guys have to be in mind that I was pregnant um, a, short, a short time, like after I did that big chop. So that could have something to do with it as well, which is hence another reason why I, why I am going through postpartum shedding. But I did, you know, I've, I've always taken prenatal pills, which I still take now, just because I'm breastfeeding. I'm gonna show you which ones I take now. And this is what it looks like. You know, sometimes I'll massage my scalp when I'm in the shower especially when I'm like washing my hair. What you really want to do is you want to focus on maintaining a clean scalp, but also having a moisture within your hair because you want to make sure that your hair is moisturized because when it's moisturized, it's less likely to break off. Now in the winter and fall, like you know where we are right now, you want to make sure that you are keeping your hair moisturized because yes, it's really, really cold. And you know, th this type of weather is the harshest when it comes to us natural girls and our natural hair so you guys should be using like you know protective styles and the lock method which um for those of you guys who don't know what the lock lock method is it's um a liquid leave-in or um a liquid conditioner you know things like that like a, a liquid leave like a leave-in conditioner or you know things like that and then the o for the lock is you know your oil so you can use coconut oil, you can use olive oil, which is my favorite. Um, you can use grapeseed oil, almond oil, you know, just any oil of your choice. And then last but not least, you're gonna be adding in your cream. And for me, sometimes it can be, like if, you're, if you have like um, kinkier hair, then you could get away with like a thicker cream to lock that in. But if you're, you you have like looser curls or even curls that's looser than mine, then you can get away with like a lighter cream because sometimes, you know, the looser your curl is, you don't want so much product weighing your hair down and making it feel nasty, but kinkier hair can really, really handle that. You know what I mean? My protective styles that are like my go-tos, um, I tend to use them like all throughout the year, truth be told, is I, I like to style my hair in like buns, but buns that are not too tight. You don't want to make your hair like too tight when you're pulling it up or pulling it back because um, for one, it can give you a headache, but um, you don't want it breaking off your hair. But that was my go-to. And even when I, well, when I did my big chop, I wasn't like, I couldn't really get my hair into a bun. So I would either have like a high puff or like, a low ponytail and my hair was like in that opera stage where like when it got to that opera stage where it did not look right in a high puff like it was just you know it was at an opera length i hated that stage so much but i learned how to manage it, you know like like work through that so another one of my go-to's especially for like last winter was um i would always wear the two braids my husband calls them pigtails but i don't really care because my hair grew back and now he can't say nothing to me okay but um, I will wear my hair in like two braids, uh, like two cornrows straight back or like, you know, or like make it look like a little Dutch braid. I don't know the difference between a Dutch braid and a French braid, whatever other people call it. I just call them cornrows because that's what they were called growing up. I don't do the 
boxer braids the kardashian braids no <laughs> no that's what i did um another protective style um that i did is twist outs i actually recently learned how to master twist out it was my first time doing it and i remember the products that i use so i have a video on that coming up as well so be sure to stay tuned for that you can do braid outs um i have a video on like it's like a braid out that i did back when my hair was shorter but i can possibly do another braid out for my hair as it's grown um and if you guys want to see that then just comment down in the comment section below so i did do box braids which i also have a tutorial down in the description box on how i did my box braids as well and that helped keep my hair really protected and um, moisturized and you know just like where i didn't have to touch my hair the whole point of a protective style is not having to really do much to your hair to like keep it keep it be able to keep it healthy without it always you know being out like how it is right now want to sleep with like a silk pillowcase or like a bonnet or something on your head exercising i don't know why but when i was exercising and things like that it just helped my hair grow and you have to be cautious of what you're eating and what you are putting into your body because you know when people say you are what you eat it's it makes sense you know what i mean i know there's a lot of women that message me on instagram and they're like you know no matter what they're like even their pregnancies and things like that their hair still doesn't grow and they feel like their hair has been the same length for years and it there there are people that's like that and sometimes it's because they either have a stylist that's like oh well, you have to get your hair cut every two weeks and things like that but you really don't i cut my hair in september and then i um trimmed it and went back over it again in december and then in january only because um i wanted it to be i wanted it to grow evenly because if you see my big chop in the way that i cut my hair you will see that like i wasn't i wasn't um you know like measuring my hair or like making sure that my ends were straight i was just making sure i'm cutting off every single damn inch of my hair that's damaged i, I didn't focus so much on the growth of my hair i just focused on what can I do to get my hair healthy and keep my hair healthy? And when it came to that, <clears throat> I just, I, I didn't focus on the length. And then I, you know, everybody be like, damn, your hair is growing, your hair is getting so long. How'd you grow your hair back? And I'm like, shit, I ain't even noticed. And then I would look back at my old pictures and old snaps and be like, oh damn, my hair did grow. You know what I mean? But um, for me, it took a lot of trial and error. I, I've seen some things that worked for me and some things that I didn't feel like worked as much. And so it took me like a year and two months, literally, to be able to like figure out, okay, this is what works for me. And sometimes you have certain products that work better for certain styles or and things like that. You pretty much have to just find your balance and, you know, learn to love your hair and just, you know, take care of it. Don't let your, don't allow your hair to be dry because it is going to break off and you're going to be looking a hot ass mess like one of these chicken heads out here. So you, you have to take care of it. Last but not least, and some of you guys are like, you don't agree, you're gonna be like, you know, clutch your invisible pearls. But if you have damage in your hair, trust me, because I used to be like this. If you have damage on your hair, like whether it's heat damage, whether it's color damage, and things like that, just cut it off. It's like, I know some people are like, it's easier said than done. Trust me, I know firsthand. I am a person that I never, like, I didn't give a damn like how split my ends were i didn't give a damn how damaged it was i just wanted that length i did not want to get rid of that length but when i got older and i got to the point where i didn't even give a damn about length anymore when i did cut it off i'm like damn i could have did this a long time ago and my hair probably would have been touching my ass by now because you know if i would have just let go of my hair back then and take taking care of it the way that i am now then my hair would have been grew back you know what i mean and so like now I don't really care too much about the length because I would cut my hair all over again and not, you know, nothing twice. But, um, you know, I'm just still, I'm still growing it out and still experiencing with it. And so, um, yeah, like you, you have to be able to cut it off. And like sometimes you, if it's harder for you to cut it all off at once, then just, you know, cut it gradually and still use protective styles. If you have to use perm rods to get the bottoms to curl up and um you know what i mean and just do protective styles until you're comfortable enough to chop it all off then um then i can say you do that but i personally i would just cut it all off and just um and just start from scratch i mean 
nowadays short hair is absolutely beautiful it's in right now i mean i ain't saying you gotta shave your whole damn head bald and go and you know amber rose it but you need to get rid of it because that's what's holding that's keeping your your damaged hair is holding you back from your growth like seriously it really is and so um if you guys you, you have to be able to cut it off and like sometimes you if it's harder for you to cut it all off at once then just you know cut it gradually and still use protective styles if you have to use perm rods to get the bottoms to curl up and um you know what i mean and just do protective styles until you're comfortable enough to chop it all off then um then i can say you do that but i personally i would just cut it all off and just um and just start from scratch i mean nowadays short hair is absolutely beautiful it's in right now i mean i ain't saying you gotta shave your whole damn head bald and go and you know amber rose it but you need to get rid of it because that's what's holding that's keeping your your damaged hair